This super solid, serious Explorer you can see behind me is built by Arxon. That's an Arxon 85 and it's incredible and there's a full tour of that on the channel. But they don't just build serious offshore Explorers, they build a roughy tufty Weekender as well. And this is it, the Arxon 30. Check this out. And although it's obviously a very, very different kind of boat, the basic philosophy is very similar, which is to be a really tough offshore machine, but give you a bit of luxury as well. So this is actually based around an XO, so it's an aluminium hull as a platform, but then built to their standards. And it's quite an incredible thing. So for example, some of the obvious things that have changed is this really solid fender rail that goes all the way around it. And you can see it down on the sides as well, just down here. Also, they completely modified the whole roof system here so that it can take a roof rack so you can keep stuff up on the top. Again, all part of the sort of offshore explorer style of things. Got a light bar on the front here as well, that's rather smart. But if we go inside, it's actually quite a nice sort of luxury feel on the inside. Engine options on this one, you can have single or twin. So typically you might have a 350 or 400 horsepower single or you can go up to a pair of 250 horsepower v8s which this boat has got and they're going to give you about 50 knots it's a proper fly machine with those cruising around about 30 and range that sort of speed maybe high 20s you're looking at up to about 200 miles but it's a serious looking bit of kit isn't it let's have a look on board and i'll show you around so you've got the little bathing platforms on either side, of course, with the twin engines. They're taking up most of the transom, as you would imagine. And then we can come on here. This is typical of the philosophy in that this looks like a really nice upholstery, and indeed it is, but it's fully waterproof. So if that gets soaked during the day, it doesn't matter. It's not going to cause it any problem. We've got these transom doors here, one on either side and then the seating all the way around. And in fact, you can put the table from inside out here, so you can dine out here if you want to. Mast on this one for the radar and the antenna and the searchlight and that kind of stuff up on the top. Again, you can see that roof right there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Got a kind of Land Rover Defender vibe to it, hasn't it? And then you've got the sliding door here. And this is key to it, really, because the idea of this is it is an all year round boat. So as standard, you've got heating in here. You've even got heated seats. So even if it's winter, you can come out on this, have a blast about and stay nice and warm. So this is the table that can extend a little bit if you wanted to. And you can see the legs here, you can take out and those sockets are the same as ones in the cockpit. Then the seat here next to the helm, that flips. So you can actually bring that back this way there we go, and that allows you to sit right around the table. Another key thing with this is this glass sunroof. Look at the size of this. And of course that is powered and slides. So if you want it open on a nice sunny day, you can do. Again, if it's winter, you can keep that closed up. Still got a load of light into here. Just makes this a really nice place to be. And again, things like this, they put the leather wraps around the handrails so they're not freezing cold to the touch. That there is a little bar area. So you've got your sink there and there's a fridge down underneath the helm seat. I say it's really a weekender. The idea is that, you know, a bit of breakfast or something is fine. You're probably going to eat ashore if you want a serious meal. Switch panel is here. All the circuit breakers. And then if you come on around, we've got the helm position just here. There's a lift bolster on this one, so you can lift that up, stand up on there, put your head through the roof if you want to. Quite nice when you're manoeuvring, quite nice if you want a bit of fresh air at speed when you get the wind in your hair. Throttle controls, of course, here, VHF radio. We've got the anchor control here as well. That one, I think, is a searchlight control. Speakers in here as well, the stereo system. And then we look across here, the bow thruster on this one, trim tabs on this one, engine start stops are down here. And then this is a multifunction display. So at the minute we've got charts on one side and engine instrumentation on the other. Love these little switches. <laughs> really cool. And if we look over onto this side, this has actually got a little heads compartment in it. So that opens like that. There we go. You've got the loo in there. You've got a shower in there as well, a little sink. Little mirror wave. Compact, but you know, that's the point of it. It's a weekender. 
it's not the sort of thing you're going away with a family for a fortnight on, but it is a brilliant thing to go out for a blast on and be able to stay over. And talking of staying over, if we head down here then, we've got the accommodation. The first thing to mention is on this side, the storage in behind here. I don't know how you can see that, but nonetheless, <laughs> there it is. It's getting a bit dark. We've been filming that 85 today. It's been fascinating. Should be on the channel already, that one. This is quite neat because what you can do with this is you can open that like so, and then that all slides forward. If I can find the right catch for it. There we go. Look at that. That slides up like that. That drops flat. And then that makes this all completely open here. That's brilliant. And underneath that, you've got the sleeping area. So great for two people. But what's also really neat is you can flip that one over and pull that one there. And that, if I get it right, there we go, comes out to create steps. So if you want to get up onto the foredeck easily, that's your route up through. Also, <laughs> brilliant little coffee table. If you're lying in bed, you can put your drinks on there. That's fantastic, isn't it? Look how they trimmed up the lighting in here as well. It's really nice. And that goes right back in to there, so they're a decent length, and it does that on both sides. Thusly. There we go. So there we go. I think it's a fascinating little boat, really. As I say, it's an aluminium hull. It's designed to be super tough. Very, very seaworthy. I've driven these. I say it's based on the XO platform, and the XO hulls are excellent. Um, so it's just designed so you can really genuinely go places and stay there when you get there. There we go. Let's come back out onto the aft deck. We're down in um, Ocean Village in Southampton at the minute. It's just starting to get dark. It's lovely down here, very peaceful. Huge thanks to the guys from Arkson for showing me that and for showing me that. <laughs> As I say, check out the channel. That is absolutely incredible. It's on there somewhere. And uh, huge thanks, of course, to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of that one. I'll catch you in one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.